All right, here with defenseman Kevin Korczynski. Uh Kevin, second year here at rookie camp. Does it feel any different this time around compared to last year? Yeah, yeah, definitely um, some different faces. Um, kind of, you know what to expect after going last year here. So, um, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, got a good group of guys here, and it's going to be a lot of fun. What are you hoping to accomplish this weekend? Are, are there any goals for you personally? What kind of impression are you hoping to leave people with? Yeah, I think just kind of every day um, showcase the player I am and just kind of learn from it. Um, there's a really good staff here that want you to kind of pick their brain, learn about all the aspects of hockey off the ice, um, nutrition, all that. So um, day by day, just learn as much as I can and kind of showcase, showcase myself well. We know all about your skating and all about your offensive abilities. Do you feel like this weekend could be an opportunity to kind of show us you know, who you are as a, as a defender in your own end, maybe show your defensive prowess? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, um, I think the whole team, we want to win those games. Obviously, it's bragging rights, um, you know, guys on the other team. So I think everybody on the team is going to be defending hard, going to be playing hard, going to be playing the, the right way and trying to win. So um, that's kind of the best way to showcase yourself, just playing that, that winning hockey. Uh, I was talking with uh, with Ethan about this a little bit. Kind of have to dance around who's going to be the wording of you know who's going to be pro and who not. But um, we're excited for you potentially jumping off this season and, and being a part of uh, the Blackhawks organization professionally now. When I say Kevin Korczynski, professional hockey player, what kind of thoughts and emotions jump into your head? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Obviously, um, 19. Uh, I've been playing junior hockey kind of my whole whole life. So um, being a pro player, that's that's kind of crazy and kind of surreal. So. Um, as just a kid from Saskatoon, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy to think about. So, obviously, um, it's a great privilege and it's a great opportunity. And then, um, a- along with that, what has this off season been like as you try and prepare for, uh, you know, what, what, what could be your first pro year? Yeah, yeah obviously, it was a short off season. Obviously, we had a really good run in Seattle. So, um, just kind of trying to work out as much as I can the, the time I had, work out, um, skate, see friends, family. So, um, it was a really good summer. I, I enjoyed it a lot and I'm kind of ready to go now. I know with your frame, a lot of people are asking, oh, did you put on weight? Are you tired of people asking that? <laughs> um, no, like obviously some people, a lot of people ask and um, definitely put on some weight. But I think for me, it's just kind of how I feel on the ice and just um, more kind of getting stronger rather than heavier. That's the main thing for me. So um, I feel good on the ice, feel good off the ice and uh, just kind of excited to get back to playing hockey. Who have been your biggest influences since going seventh overall uh, last season? Yeah, I guess it's a tough question. Obviously, we had a lot of a lot of guys that kind of influenced me on my Seattle team. Um, older guys that I was friends with that you can just learn from, whether they're D-man forwards. Um, and yeah, obviously, you got influence off the ice. Um, friends, family, parents, um, siblings, stuff like that. So I think everybody kind of plays a, a role in my life in that sense and influenced me in different ways. So um, yeah, they kind of helped me to become who I've become. Second uh, year, like we were saying earlier, second year here at rookie camp uh, with the Blackhawks. Do you feel like you have a better feel of like where everything is in, in the locker room here at Fifth yeah. Third and stuff like that? How much of a difference does that make? Yeah, yeah I think being comfortable knowing where everything is, um, just kind of coming here and knowing what to expect is awesome. Um, and kind of knowing that you can kind of see the, the city a bit more too. Um, obviously, Chicago is a wonderful, it's a crazy city, um, especially compared back home. It's, it's a lot bigger. So, um, yeah, kind of being able to, on those off days, maybe go out, um, go to a nice nice place to eat and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's really cool. It makes it more enjoyable. Um, and, yeah, just obviously on the ice stuff, just knowing the players, um, knowing the pace, all that, it's, it's, it really helps. Yeah. Part of a, a rebuilding franchise, but part of a rebuilding franchise that feels like it's on the upswing with a lot of young talent, and you're in an original six city as well. How cool is it to have the, the history here too? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, Chicago, really historic franchise, original six. Um, my, uh, my dad and me were Blackhawks fans back in the day, so – that was when I was like a kid, but um, just do like little things like that. It's really cool. Um, and such a prestigious um, organization. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, you were at the, was, was it the NHLPA Upper Deck Rookie Showcase? Um, did that feel like draft night all over again with uh, with all the young talent, everybody yeah. in their own jerseys? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was cool. Um, obviously at the draft, there's a lot of good hockey players I got to meet. Um, yeah, I went to different teams and just like the, that event just kind of, being on the ice with really, really skilled, really smart hockey players that um, are just kind of the best at what they do. So, um, yeah, obviously it was a really cool event, Upper Deck. Um, they kind of did it really well for us, so it was really enjoyable. And then the, the rookie showcase, um, I learned a lot. So it was, it was really good. 
I think someone leaked some footage of the, the kind of the practice game that you guys had. I'm assuming you didn't throw any body checks there. It didn't look too no, intense. No, no, it was uh, definitely not too intense. Um, nobody wanted to get hurt, and uh, it was just kind of a chill, a little scrimmage, just uh, to, for some footage, I'm guessing. So nobody was going too hard, but um, nonetheless, it was really fun. You know, it's with some good players. It was cool. Well, from a lot of the interviews that uh, that you've done, it seems like you're really mature about this development process with the Blackhawks. What's the communication been like uh, with the organization about your development? Yeah, I think um, obviously during the year, there's a lot that I, I tried to work on um, and develop. And then, yeah, obviously heading into camp, just kind of um, showcase myself. They got a plan for me. Um, and that plan's the, the best thing for me. I just want to, like I said, um, get better at every day at hockey. Um, I'm the best hockey player I can become. Another kind of big, smooth skating defenseman uh, that the Blackhawks have in their organization, Alex Vlasic, is a guy they've brought along bit by bit a little bit, kind of giving them doses of the NHL. Have uh, Do you have a relationship with him? And if so, kind of what's it like? Yeah, yeah, Vlasic. Um, he was awesome last year at, uh, um, obviously, I think it was their development camp, but definitely main camp, the rookie camp. Um, and yeah, just kind of, he was really nice to me. Obviously a newer guy. He kind of introduced me to some of the other guys. And um Obviously, as a defenseman, bigger, um, good left shot defenseman, um, I could learn from him and obviously he moves so well out there. So, um, yeah, he's, he's always have an unreal career in the NHL. He's super talented. Um, he plays his game so well. So, um, and obviously, the most important thing, he's a great guy off the ice. So, um, Vlasi, he's awesome. And, uh, I, yeah. Well, Kevin, we appreciate the time. We look forward to seeing you out here at uh, Prospect Camp in the Showcase and then uh, eventually at the UC as well. Thanks for the time. Awesome. Thank you.